Hello Buzz and Girls, my name is Otis D and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time we managed to complete this uh, airlock here, water lock, uh, so we can keep gases from this side separated from anything in our base. Because eventually here it will become quite thick with, uh, with carbon dioxide which is not too good to have in the base. Um, so we also dug out a bit more in all direction. We saw that there is a uh, leaky oil fissure down here. Sorry. Um, which I'm not too concerned about. It's not really useful. And we also decided to go a bit more in this direction to see what's what's over there. And we started uh, on this level with digging out a bit more. Um, So we can have a proper um, set up for our uh, batteries. There will be a transformer. Then on the layer below, we shall have another transformer. Um, so let's do it this way. This time we need um, a gap of three. So that we can properly um, we don't have enough uh, refined iron. Does not matter uh, because we do not yet need to place place a transformer in. Yeah, on this side there is not too much uh, oxygen. So. Yeah, and of course we're still waiting for this to go dormant, um, which has become a bit of, of a common theme. Um, harvest these. That was the gate. We are looking for a doctor. Um, no doctor, but another uh, arbor acorn. So we will take that because we need that for our uh, pip farm. And we finished with the research, so let's take the next one from the top. Because why not? And at this point, we're not in dire need uh, for anything in specific. All right, uh, over on this side, uh, we have completed the outer wall. Which means we are now fully encased in isolation. Which should help with keeping the, the heat out and the cool in. Mop up a bit more. Yep, 
least we can dig out here as well. I think two layers of batteries are enough as well as two layers of wiring. Um, we probably need one on this side. That was the wrong button. And over here, because somewhere we need to uh, to uh, um, put up the uh, heavy bot wire, and we should not do it too close to uh, to the base because the decor effect is not that great. So we will do it uh, on, on this side of the wall. Still over pressured. Basically, we can dig down further. We'll release this uh, this uh, salt water. It will flow down. But I think that's the best route to go. Okay, on this side, still waiting for the balm lily to be dug out so we can. It does not really matter. We have chlorine uh, over on this side. Plenty. Uh, we don't need that block there anymore. And they are not happy working in this uh, chlorine uh, environment because it stings in their eyes. So don't need that block. And then we shall have the heavy watt wire. Connecting these and through here. And eventually we will replace it with the uh, heavy conductive watt wire which has a bit uh, less negative effect on, on the decor. But as that one requires uh, refined metal, and at this point we are, we do not have a good source of it. Um, things are as they are. If we make 
make this one bigger. We could move the door up one block. Which should help with the gate there. Um, let's see the skills. Ada, yes. So now you can do masterworks. Which is great because... We will do just that by putting one in here. Um, then let's see... We have... We have a few uh, uh, fibers, so we can do a few paintings. Um, let's do two in here, two in here, then here and maybe here in the middle two more and that uses up all our reed fiber but we will get more uh, we are done with the research so Let's proceed with the next one. And once all these paintings are done, we should see an increase in, uh, in the decor. Maybe cleaning up this mess would also help. So let's deconstruct that and the door. And have one more block there. Pull the ladder all the way to the top and put the door back in. Okay, we have high stress, yucky lungs. That's because they're working on, on this side of the things where there is chlorine, which, as mentioned, burns their eyes and they are not that happy. Right, here we have a doctor, but they cannot do excavation, which is not good, because... Uh, duplicants have a tendency to uh, uh, dig themselves in uh, and being unable to get out, uh, that's no good. And we will not use the uh, salt water. So thank you, but no thanks. Um, maybe we can have 
uh, massage table over on this side. I think that one needs power. Yeah, so let's wire it up. And that's a stop point measure uh, for the uh, for the stress. It should have probably the same or a similar problem uh, when going down here or over there with the burning eyes yep so now nails is on the message table and uh, we are seeing the uh, the stress is going down it's going down slowly but it is going down and we have our first painting and if we have a look at the decoration we can see it already affects this this room um, also the statue the marble statue um, which is a genius one uh, with a masterpiece here uh, that also helps um, I think we can also clean up the floor in here and with that we should get higher morale um, which then can counteract the uh, requirements for their uh, chop skill. So, if we have a look here, yeah, you can already see we are way higher only with these few bits and essentially the uh, statue in here um, made this a great hole uh, where before it was I think it was not even a mess hall because it was too big for a mess hall but they get now uh, uh, quite a few bonuses also have the first paintings in here um, so ooh, incapacitated that's no good uh, which means we need a triage cut um, uh, let's put that just over here and possibly Harold will die uh, let's see Harold was our uh, rancher and farmer Uh, so possibly nails will have to take over the the farming responsibilities at uh, the the ranching po uh, responsibilities or we find a new one so Maybe he will live. All right then. We were lucky. And uh, research is done, so let's proceed to the next one.
Okay, and I think we just escaped uh, uh, our first death. So uh, uh, let's let's call it a day at this point before something uh, worse happens. So hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you soon with the next one. Until then, goodbye.